to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Tuesday, January 11th of 2022. President Luis Abinader undertook the re-electionist route that the last four presidents who preceded him traveled, while his party is left overtime without a new Trump card for the 2024 elections. In the legal class, the proposal made last Friday by the President of the Supreme Court of Justice, Luis Henry Molina, to separate the penitentiary system from the public ministry has received several rejections and also support. Important hospitals and clinics in Gran Santo Domingo and Santiago operate between 67 and 100 percent occupancy in their COVID areas. The Dominican Association of Teachers, headed by Eduardo Hidalgo, made a call to his colleagues not to return to classes today as the Ministry of Education has summoned. While on the tour of a different educational centers in Gran Santo Domingo, many have resumed their cleaning and disinfection tasks to return to classes. The ports of the Dominican Republic maintain their active cruise activity agenda, but under strict health protocols related to COVID-19 and its possible variants, according to the director of the Dominican Port Authority, Jean Luis Rodriguez. Tourists who, for health reasons, have had to stay in isolated rooms in hotel facilities bear their expenses while they are in that situation, since the travel insurance for COVID-19 that the Dominican government covered already expired on July 31st last year. The Prime Minister of Haiti, Ariel Henry, could have a close link with the main suspect and the murder of former Haitian President Jovenel Moïse, according to a report published by the U.S. newspaper, The New York Times. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listin Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.